everyone, this is Andrea Carnes from the Modern Art Museum in Fort Worth, and my good friends at Paper City asked if I would choose a work from the Moderns Collection to chat about today with you all. So I've chosen a work that is both beloved and popular within the collection, um, and it is by the American artist of Nigerian descent, Kehinde Wiley, and the work is called Colonel Platoff on his charger, and it's from 2007-2008. It's a large scale painting that really um, is representative of what Kehinde Wiley is most known for. It's a work that comes, that, that source comes from um, Western European painting. This, in this case, it's a James Ward painting from 1815. And what Wiley does is replace the commonly white male sitter with a contemporary urban black man. So in this case, Colonel Platov, who was a Russian commander during the Napoleonic War, is replaced with um, this young, handsome black man who Wiley passed on the street. Um, he, he calls it street casting, where he just, he just sees someone either in Harlem or Brooklyn, at least in the early days when this work was made, that's where he was going most often to look for sitters, um, who he's struck by for, for, for the way the person carries themselves and their sort of confidence and also whatever they're wearing, whatever streetwear uh, they have on and just what that sort of um, exudes. So. This anonymous sitter was someone who Wiley passed on the street and he asked him if he would pose um, in a painting for him. And of course, Wiley has his studio assistants with him and other people so that it, it all is obviously very legitimate. So this guy agreed and Wiley took a picture of him and then replaces Colonel Platoff in the work um, that he repaints and appropriates with this anonymous black male sitter. Um, Wiley absolutely heroicizes this anonymous guy, and uh, the point here is really to celebrate the urban black man, but also to call attention to the fact that um, there's an omission in the history of Western painting, and it, uh, the omission isn't just um, to black men, it's all, it's all people of color and often women. So the idea is that on the one hand, Wiley is celebrating um, the urban black man, and on the other hand, he's calling attention to some of the same social issues that exist today that existed then. Um, in this work, the sitter is wearing a red fur-lined hoodie with um, lime green cargo pants and yellow Air Force Ones. So what we noticed when we first showed this work at the Modern was so many kids, actually people of young and old, related to what they were seeing in the painting um, on so many levels. One, just the idea that it's a contemporary person. Two, for any of the sneakerheads or young kids, just the idea of like what this guy is wearing. And it's clearly like the, the horse and the whole history painting aspect of it are at odds with the sitter in a certain sense. Um, so it's clearly like a riff on a historical painting that kids related to um, when we first showed it. And then um, also just the idea that, you know, we don't normally see people of color, a young black man in a painting like this. And I think that so many people who visited our galleries really related to that. So we knew we had something special in Kehinde, even though this work was early in his career or, you know, early in his mature style. Um, so later in 2015, we, we hosted an exhibition organized by the Brooklyn Museum that was a 14-year retrospective or survey of Kehinde Wiley's work, and we got the same sort of responses. It was really amazing. And then since then, you know, Kehinde Wiley is in over 40 collections across the U.S. He was Obama's portraitist. He is a decorated artist in every sense, and... Um, we certainly were fortunate to get him early in his career. Then we got another look at mid-career and we hope to continue our long relationship with Kehinde Wiley. So I hope that gave you something to think about the next time you see the painting in our galleries and we hope to see you all again soon. Stay safe.